Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in the studio, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fix the blinking blue lights or the blue lights of death air on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So that is right, if you're trying to turn on your PlayStation 5 and nothing's displaying and you're just getting blinking blue lights on your PlayStation 5, what would you go ahead and do to fix this? Well, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is turn off our PlayStation 5 completely. So locate the power button to the left here on the bottom and then hold this down. You will hear one beep initially and then you'll hear two beeps and your PlayStation 5 will completely shut down. So don't have it in rest mode. You want it completely turned off. So now that there is no lights coming from our PlayStation 5, Let's go ahead and locate the power button again and hold it down and wait until we hear a second beep and then let go. So here's the second beep, I let go and this will launch our PlayStation 5 into safe mode. So for this you have to connect your controller using a USB wire. So here is my cable right here, let's connect it to the front of my PlayStation just like this and then connect it to my controller. And my cable is not very long because it's my GoPro one. Okay, so now that it's connected, press the PlayStation button on the controller. And it'll bring open this menu where you have options to change your video output, update the system, clear the cache and rebuild the database, or reset your PlayStation 5. So the first thing we should do is go to change video output and change the resolution on your PlayStation 5. And there may be some kind of compatibility issue going on with your PlayStation 5 and the default resolution is not compatible with the monitor. So there's nothing displaying on the screen because the monitor doesn't support it. So go to this option right here and set it to automatic. Then go to option number two and just go to this and go to HDCP 1.4 only. Otherwise, leave it at automatic. Then back out of this screen and go to the main safe mode screen here. Then go to option number three, update system software. Then go to update using internet and just install a fresh copy of the system firmware on your PlayStation and just see if this resolves your issue as well. It's very quick and easy to do. You just have to download from the internet and it'll apply it and update your PlayStation 5. Then after that, go to option number five, clear cache and rebuild the database. Now there's two options on here. Now, as opposed to the PlayStation 4, which only have the rebuild the database. Go to option number one here, clear system software and cache. Then go to rebuild the database. And this will fix any kind of issue you are having with your hard drive. It may take about five minutes to go ahead and go through the restarting process as well as rebuilding the database on your PS5. Then after that, the last option you can go ahead and try is going to option number six, reset PS5. And when you go ahead and do this, all users and all data will be deleted from your PlayStation 5. It will be like you just bought your PlayStation 5 and you are setting it up for the first time. And when you go ahead and do this, if you can back up your data, go ahead. However, all your game data should be stored to the cloud already if you're a PlayStation Plus member. There's over 100 gigabytes of storage space on there. So let's say I want to go play Minecraft over at a friend's house and I have that data saved to the cloud. All that information, my worlds will be downloaded onto their PlayStation 5 because I'm a PlayStation Plus member with automatic game saves that uploads everything automatically to the cloud. So go ahead and try this as your last option if nothing else seems to be working and then just download all your games from the internet or from your CDs. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.